A study was done using a treatment group and a placebo group. The results are shown in the table. Assume that the two samples are independent simple random samples selected from normally distributed populations and do not assume that the population standard deviations are equal. Complete parts A and B below use a 0.01 .01 significance level for both parts. Part A is to test the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean. The first thing that we would do is specify the hypotheses. So our null hypothesis would be that mu1 is equal to mu2, and our alternative hypothesis would be that they are not equal. We can use StatCrunch to find the statistics for this test by pressing stat, tstats, to sample with summary, and then enter the values as we see in the given table. We're performing a hypothesis test, so we will make sure that the hypothesis test button is selected. Notice that the hypotheses given in StatCrunch are in the form mu1 minus mu2. Our hypotheses are mu1 equal to mu2 and mu1 not equal to mu2. But these hypotheses are equivalent if the difference is zero. So mu1 equal to mu2 is equivalent to mu1 minus mu2 equal to zero, and mu1 not equal to mu2 is equivalent to mu1 minus mu2 not equal to zero. The resulting output box gives us a t statistic of minus 1.45 when we round to two decimal places. It also gives us a p-value of 0.1547. Next, we are asked to draw a conclusion for the test. Remember that the p-value was 0.1547. We are told that the significance level is 0.01. Since the p-value is greater than the significance level, or alpha, we should not reject the null hypothesis. So in other words, sufficient evidence was not gathered so that we should reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. So our correct selection should be C, fail to reject the null hypothesis. There is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean. In the B part, we are asked to construct a confidence interval suitable for testing the claim that the two samples are from populations with the same mean. So we are to construct a confidence interval with the form left endpoint less than mu1 minus mu2 less than the right endpoint. So we will go back to where we input our values and this time select confidence interval for mu1 minus mu2. Since this is a two-tailed test, our confidence level would be 1 minus our significance level, or in other words, 0.99. This gives us interval endpoints of minus 0.860 to 0.260 if we round to three decimal places as required.